I'm Micah Smith, and this is Automation Anywhere Quick Tips. So this is a second part to our number formatting or our number variables discussion. And what we talked about there was that when we establish a variable and we have it as a number data type, right, we would do so for a very particular reason, right? Maybe I'm doing some looping and I wanted to create this counter so that I could increment it every time I go through the loop. Uh, maybe I'm doing some kind of calculation where I need to say, this is the person's income, this is the percentage of their bonus, and this is their total compensation for the year, right? So those would all be calculations that I'd be doing off of numbers, okay? Now, not every time that we have a number does it need to be saved as a number variable format. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna play a little game, and it's gonna be called, is it a number? <laughs> And that was supposed to be like an intro to a game show and it probably didn't work because it was just me saying it. All right, so we're gonna look at a couple different examples of where you might use numbers within a bot and discuss whether or not that should actually be a number formatted variable or whether it should actually just be a string. Sound good? So the first one on the screen here is age, okay? Should age be stored as a number or should it be stored as a string? Well, the answer is actually, it depends, right? It depends on what I'm gonna do with that value. Let's say that I was doing some screen scraping and I you know, extracted all of our customer information uh, from this particular application and we need to translate it into another app. When I extract that data, maybe I'm just moving from screen to screen. If that's all I'm doing, I'm gonna leave age as a string. If I'm you know, grabbing that detail and then I need to make some kind of determination like, oh, for customers 65 and up, we put them in this one region. And for customers who are 65 and below, maybe we put them in another region. In that case, I do need age to be a number because I'm doing some kind of numerical calculation of it, right? I'm doing a compare statement. I'm doing a conditional statement where I'm saying, is age greater than you know, 64? or is age greater than 65? And so if I'm gonna do those kind of calculations and make that kind of determination, then I'd want age to stay as a number. If I'm just transferring data from one place to another, then I'm okay to leave age as a string. Cool. Next one, dollar amount. Dollar amount is likely gonna be a number. Okay, and again, we talked about an example at the beginning here where we said, hey, if I've got, you know, the person made $35,000 a year, their bonus is 10%, so their total compensation is X, most likely dollar amount is going to be a number. Now, when I'm talking about dollar amount, obviously it's not gonna, you know, if I need to convert from a string to a number, or I've extracted it from some resource, uh, I'm gonna have to do things like clip off the dollar sign, right, because I can't, I can't maintain that. Uh, I might even want to clean up some decimal points or clean up any commas that were showing up. But I can do that kind of stuff and then convert that to a number. I can do any calculations that I need to and then move that back to a string format if I need it. Otherwise, I can leave it as a number, write that out to a database, whatever I'm doing. So the answer for all of these is really it's going to depend, but uh, I want to talk through some of those examples so we can really understand what's going on. Social security number. This one is a little bit tricky, right? It is obviously an all number format and usually it's like, uh, three digits dash two digits and then four more digits now if I tried to just immediately convert that to a number I might end up with a you know oh, well, that looks like subtraction so I, I wouldn't want to do that but uh, the reality is this should stay as a string okay there is I can't think of any scenarios where I need to perform calculations on someone's social security number right we don't take the last four digits and say hey I'm gonna add one to it because that doesn't really make sense, right? Unless you're the Social Security Administration and you're coming up with the new numbers, uh, I don't see a reason why you would need to treat this as a number. So this one's always gonna be a string. With that, I would also say, just as an extra bonus tip here and caveat, never put Social Security numbers anywhere where the bot could possibly have visibility to putting that someplace, right? I'm not gonna write that to a log file. I wanna make sure that if my bot is dealing with um, PPI, or yeah, PII, sorry, personal identifiable information. I don't want that stuff showing up in a screenshot that the bot takes. I don't want that stuff showing up in a log file that the bot is writing out. So when you're handling this kind of data, be extra sensitive, be extra secure, make sure that you're handling it appropriately. A phone number, what do you think? Number, string? Again, this one is gonna be a string, okay? Definitely not a number. I'm not doing calculations on someone's phone number. So I don't need to most likely see if it's 
you know, what digits it's made of or add anything to it. The only exceptions I could really think of for that is if I'm checking to see like, is this a local phone number, right? I might check it versus the local area code to see if it matches and it's a local number. But even that, I would do a string comparison, not a numerical uh, comparison. So just for what it's worth. Loop counter, right? Let's say I have a loop going on. I don't know how many times it's gonna run, but I need to reference the loop value because I'm extracting some details from a table on a website. And I wanna make sure that I'm not grabbing everything from the header row, but I'm grabbing everything afterwards. Uh, and I need to use some dynamic DOM paths. In that case, loop counter should for sure be a number, right? Because I'm doing some kind of increments to it. I'm adding to it every single time or I'm decrementing. Uh, I can convert it from number to a string if I need to use it as a part of my DOM X path or something like that. Um, but most likely my loop counter or uh, any counter that I'm using is always going to be in a number format because I'm doing some kind of numerical calculation on it. So. Hopefully this discussion on when it's a number and when it's a string was helpful for you. My name is Micah Smith. This has been Automation Anywhere Quick Tips. Go be great.